I'm getting ready right now, okay, for the gym. So it's basically taking me almost three months to complete this hourglass challenge. That's only 21 days. Welcome back to my channel. I've tried making this video three times now. They were all different challenges and I would just never finish them. So here we go again. But I think this one's a little shorter than the other ones I tried. I think they were like month long challenges. So they were like 30 days and this one's only like 21 days. I have been very humbly booking. The way that it works right now is you kind of have to be invited to audition because of COVID for the most part. So I've been wanting to get in shape because I can tell you right now that the first audition I went to, I was literally thinking to myself like, this is it. I'm about to be the girl in the audition that passes out, but I made it through. Didn't get a call back, but I made it through. I will say my butt is a little flabbier than she used to be. I was touching her yesterday and I was like, whoa. She used to be brick. Right now, she feels like Haribo gummy bear. Let's go to the gym. So today is like technically day one or whatever, but really it's actually day two. I was tired yesterday <laughs> and I am notorious for doing this, which is skipping a day and then doing two workouts in one day. Okay guys, I'm in our gym for the first time and the gym is beautiful. I'm so happy. As you can see, there's a whole TV up here, but this is the yoga room that I just kind of came into and I set my computer over there. And then the actual like gym. Oh, it's so beautiful. Obviously, whoever was in this room earlier did not clean up, so I gotta clean up. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Like, I'm not even in a good mood. And I don't even remember how I got down here. But I'm here, so. So it is day. Hold on a second. I'm confused. I forget to work out yesterday. Ugh. Today is day five of the workout program. I forgot to do yesterday's workout, which sucks. So I'm going to be, of course, mending them together. But good thing, day four's workout was only 25 minutes and day five's workout was only 10 minutes. So it's just gonna be a 35 minute workout, which I am cool with. So I'm just gonna do that. I wanted to let you guys know that I just got back from work today and at work, I measured my waist. This is what she's looking like, yeah and it came out to 31 inches which is honestly what it's like always been so i'll be really surprised if i actually lose any inches the length of the workouts that chloe made these are what really make me motivated because if i'm coming home from a long work day and i know that my workout is about to be an hour i already know i don't want to do it and as soon as my mind makes it up that i don't want to do something like i will not do it oh and I'm in my apartment today. No judging, but like at the same time, I really don't care if you judge because I can't hear you. If you want to know, I literally just moved in. I've been in this apartment for like two weeks. So there's a lot going on. I'm in here because my gym, the latest that it's open right now because of COVID is till 5.30. And I just got home and it's 5.10. So I knew I wouldn't be able to make it down there. But then also because this workout program is not cardio heavy, I know that I can honestly do it in my apartment if need be. So that's what I'm gonna do. Aww. So day five is an arm workout. It's arms and back and then arms and upper body. And I'd love to be in the gym for that so that I could actually use dumbbells so i'm not going to do day five today so because i have big boobs there's certain bras when i wear them that i always forget if i do cardio it like because i'm moving and they're bouncing it chafes my shoulder i literally have scars it's kind of like floor burn like a little bit skin off just from there being so much weight in a sports bra so it cuts me and that's what's happening right now so let's believe i'm about to skip those jumping jacks Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I look a little. <laughs> 
I'm getting ready right now, okay, for the gym. Just wanted to give you a little, little talky talk before I go because today is day eight, but really I took like a two week break. I want y'all to know not to put pressure on yourself for keeping up like a schedule because life happens. So I took a week and a half break. One, because I got insanely busy. And then on top of that, I started PMSing, which we all know is not my best week in each month. So you need to listen to your body and give your body what it needs. And if what it needs is more sleep and more rest instead of exercise, listen to your body i promise you you're not doing any good for your body if you force yourself to work out when you really don't want to when you're like tired you're really just stressing your body out and it's going to do the opposite of what you want it to do don't ever get caught up in feeling like you're failing or you're thinking that you're not going to see the results you want because you didn't follow the schedule. If you listen to your body, you will see those results. Rest and exercise go hand in hand. If you exercise when you need rest, you're not gonna be performing greatly. And like I said, you're putting your body through stress. So comment down below if you want a video on like rest versus exercise and like a ratio and whatever. It's equally important. But I say all that to say that I'm not like mad at myself or anything. I picked a date that I knew I would be ready to get right back into my schedule that I have for myself. So I think in actuality, I probably would have been like almost done with this challenge, this hourglass challenge, but I have a life. And honestly, if you are also eating healthy and listening to your body you shouldn't feel guilt you shouldn't put shame on yourself because i eat healthy as well and then honestly most of the stuff i was doing while i wasn't working out was dancing so i'm still kind of working out just don't don't shame yourself don't do it it's not going to do anything we're here now you can start again and I promise you, your body's going to feel a lot better and thank you more, okay? Working out should be about celebrating your body and everything it can do and how strong it is. Um, today is way past day nine. It's actually been two weeks since I've worked up. I've just been really going through it mentally. Long story short, I've been a depressed girl. It's taken me a while to get back in the groove. I'm starting to force myself to do things that, you know, make, make me feel good, that I know will give me some serotonin. So I'm going to start back up with day nine and day 10 today. together day 13 and day 16 because day 16 is only 10 minutes and the way that my personal schedule works out um the day that day 16 falls on it's just uh, so i think i'm gonna add day 16 into day 13 and i'm gonna make it a 35 minute workout today so that's what we're gonna do mad at me because I'm not mad at myself so I'm not going to finish this challenge I know I started this video saying that I was going to finish it because I literally have tried to film this video three other times and what stopped me from being able to upload it was I never finished the challenges and it happened again I mean you know it's a little bit of laziness a little bit of life I was supposed to be well finished with this challenge before I went to Chicago which was at the end 
of May and it's now the middle of June. So it's basically taking me almost three months to complete this hourglass challenge. That's only 21 days. I just don't have time in my everyday life to immerse myself into a full workout program and actually follow the schedule. I mean, as you've seen. So what was happening was I knew that I had four days left once I got back from Chicago and I kept scheduling when I was going to do those workouts and then I would keep pushing them back and keep pushing the video back. I've literally been doing this for like a month and I was like okay Destiny it's got to stop so these next four days you're gonna do the workout. It didn't happen so I'm like okay whatever. I'm not gonna finish the last four days but I'm still gonna upload this one. But with that I do want to say I still got progress. <laughs> I still got progress. I do love this challenge. It's not even necessarily the challenge that I love. It's the workouts within this challenge that I literally love. I really found my niche in the gym and, my, and workouts that I love to do within this hourglass challenge. Also, I a while ago measured myself. The first time I measured myself, I was 31 inches around my waist, which I pretty much literally always been. And I didn't do this challenge to see a certain result. I just did this challenge to feel good and get working out, which I did and I did accomplish, but I ended up seeing progress. And I do have to say, I think it has a lot to do with also how I'm eating. But I measured myself at work the other day and I was 28 inches around my waist, which is super cool to see because I've literally been 31 inches around my waist for so long. And then Justin noticed <laughs> that my boobs have gotten a lot smaller. I've noticed, but my boobs fluctuate a lot. You know, my boyfriend, <laughs> my boyfriend knows them best. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to say that I lost weight in my chest. I lost weight in my waist. So yeah, I did get a little bit of a result, but I do want to say that I think my eating had a heavy part in it, which I will be sharing with you guys in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited. I will be introducing you guys to a new series on my channel called Weight Loss Series. And I have all of these amazing paleo, gluten-free, dairy-free, some of them vegan recipes that are really, really good and aid in weight loss. So I have so many recipes. I literally have three months, I believe, worth of videos to share with you guys. I have it all planned out. I know I haven't posted a recipe video in a long time, but I've been working on this. So just make sure you guys are following my The Recipe Holder Instagram and my normal Instagram if you aren't. And uh, just make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss those videos. I'm literally so excited. I think you guys can tell. Just want to say that I loved this challenge. Chloe, <laughs> If you're watching, I love you, girl. I love your workouts. I've done four of them now. <laughs> sorry, but like absolutely not sorry that I like didn't finish it. It was only four days, y'all. It was only four days. Like, come on. This is how I'm looking. And I'm on my period right now. So I might be like less bloated after this week and who knows if my waist is actually even a little bit smaller. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and watching me sweat and all of that. Let me know if you guys want me to try out anything else. I actually am about to start a new workout thing. I know it's a little weird like Destiny, you didn't finish this one but you're about to start another one. Yes. I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this video a big old thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys see a difference. Oh, I do wanna say, Chloe did give me some more ab definition than I've had in a while. She then did that too. I love this challenge, y'all. Go do it. I hope you guys have a great day, evening, night, weekend, whatever. I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.